Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Castrol India. Is it a buy at these levels or an avoid? So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation. People taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Castrol India, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that, it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up from time to time. Once you uh, and, and for detailed market or company talk, you can directly email me and we can work things out. Now about the company, Castrol India established in 1910 and provide oil lubricants and uh, products of such type, have global presence with businesses in major centers, a market leader in this space and caters to two-wheelers, four-wheelers and CVs alike. The market cap of the company is around 13 to 14,000 crores. Uh, it has been a very good cash cow for those who have invested for, for the last 10-15 years, have given very good, you can say, dividend, uh, but has not been a big outperformer in terms of becoming 10-15x over the last 10 years. If you look at the financials, uh, then uh, sales were down by 7%. Uh, in December quarter and profit was down by around 30 percent and that was evident because of the uh, lower demand for su such kind of products because uh, there is more work from home that has taken place so FY21 has always has remained very uh, bad for for those companies who are related to a movement of people from one place to to another i think things will improve uh, going forward there is high promoter and institutional holding a very good return on equity of 42% and an operating profit margin of 28%. It's just that the sales are down so much that uh, the numbers are not that great. So you see that according to sales, the net profit margin has fallen a lot and uh, it has come out to be something like uh, 20 to 23%. Uh, so they, re they have maintained uh, relatively their profit margins, but... Uh, the sales need to go up and that is not what has been happening over the last five six eight years so let's see how it pans out going forward if you look at the performance then stock is down 37 percent in the last two years so it has not done that great it's still down 30 percent after the uh, short up move that we have seen recently it's down 30 percent from the two year high numbers have remained strong but on the sales front has not grown that much return ratios as i have mentioned is pretty good and and that is the best part about the company and that's why most of the investors stay invested because uh, they give out very good roes and 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 then very good dividends as well Trading around 14-15 times earnings is very reasonable uh, but other companies producing better numbers and that is my concern that there are companies in other sectors, other consumer durables, uh, space, electronics etc. Uh, where people can invest and make better returns and so people are looking for uh, you can say greater uh, uh, CAGR returns and looking for better companies in that regard and, and there is a risk on trade going on and that's why that is also a precursor of the fact that uh, the stock has not done that well. A very good decent dividend yield that the company has and it distributes the profits with the uh, investors very well. What are the issues uh, with the company? Depreciating rupee is a major concern and uh, it has been happening for the last 4-5 years. It has just stalled in the last one year or so but I believe going forward once printing stops say a year, year and a half from now again a rupee will depreciate and will go beyond 75 and that is a concern for Castrol and for people who are investing in Castrol here in India. Uh, a recession in auto industry had been an issue and now things are improving so this is something which is an opportunity now and I believe FY22 would be better uh, for Castrol so if anybody who wants to buy for long term anybody who is looking to invest for 8-10 years these are the levels to now to get in to Castrol because there could be a surge in the stock 
uh, in FY22. Raw material prices are higher uh, for producing the products etc. and that is a concern as well. And slower demand with crippling economies globally is, is a fact and things are improving. It is showing on the ground as well and that is where I am positive for FY22 and 23. And that is where, so so these were the issues due to which the stock has remained under pressure over the last 3-4 years. I believe things relatively would become better and there will be more usage of the products that Castrol makes once movement of traffic goes uh, goes well across the globe. It will take time, maybe FY22 and then most parts of FY23 would be good. Uh, so, so I, I see that a bottoming out process for the stock might be taking place and, and the stock is completely out of favor because there are better returns available elsewhere. There are better returns available in consumption, in other autos, uh, in auto ancillary, in paints, etc. So people are going towards uh, there rather than buying into a pedigree stock like Castrol. If you don't give returns, then it will be very difficult for people to invest. If you look at the technicals, uh, then there's major support that lies around 125. So between 110 to 125, there is huge support. So to, uh, right now the stock is around 135, 134. Any decline if that happens towards 130, 128, very good buying opportunity, any 2-3% decline. Even at current levels, uh, one can accumulate. Uh, but do not expect big things over the next six months. It could just be range bound. It has been range bound for a number of months. Uh, but over eight, ten years, or at least over the next two, three years, it could give you good returns. We could see 200, 210 on the stock in the next couple of years, uh, which would be a major jump for the stock like Castrol, which gives around 12, 13 percent CAGR. Uh, but I believe that uh, time has come where uh, the stock could move higher as demand uh, gets uh, richer, as demand starts to pick up. Uh, but do not expect huge uh, thing from the stock. Do not expect that the stock will go to 500, 800, 2000. I think the best you can expect is in the next three years for the stock to probably go to 200 and then in the next four years to 250 270 i have seen the stock at 270 also some five seven years back uh, so it could happen but it is not something which could become a huge multi-bagger etc unless uh, it comes out with huge sales numbers and there are different products that comes under their product portfolio it is not an outperformer technically and traders uh, do not like the stock that much it is a slow mover not a trader's favorite and major breakout is expected above 155 i think there's clear trajectory uh, above 155 towards 180 185 and then 220 225 and i won't be surprised if the stock doubles from here in the next three to four years with if, if the demand surges but that's just about it that i'm looking for in, in the stock so what needs to be done in my opinion buy as a long-term play buy as a play for seven eight nine years can yield around 14 15 percent for you over that period plus dividend is also there uh, so you can trade and buy with the stop loss at 111 that's a 20 percent downside and you can see as i ex as, as i have explained once 150 160 is taken out you can expect 210 220 or even 270 on the stock in the longer run auto sector is reviving so this may perform and i'm, I'm pretty positive that autos and auto ancillaries will be the theme this year and next year so th this this run could just continue and i think castrol will join the party uh, albeit a little bit late but will join the party a little bit as well uh, have less than five percent exposure into such stocks so this was my video on castrol please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when i post it and kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching